want them, bro. So let's do uh, hollow. It's, I guess that's going to be hard for you to not be biased. What? Hollow, <laughs> hollow and John John. Oh, yeah, I'm going. You know I'm going. Oh, my God. <laughs> Girl, I heard John. Nigga. <laughs> I was at John John house last, what was that, two weeks ago? But we went bowling and shit. We was, uh, we was watching some event. What event was we? Oh, we watched horrible ass Tech Nine. Tech Nine, you can't even ever, ever judge Tech or. Nine versus Gotti. You can never break down another one of my battles. You my man, and all that, but you can't analyze shit, bro. You suck. Like you fucking suck. Your diss record to Big T, it sucks. Your battles suck. You are a great commentator. That is your niche. God bless you. But don't talk about my battles ever again, cause you fucking suck. So me and John John, we had the crib, we watching Tech Nine's horrible ass performance. And the nigga just start, he was like, boom, he just start going. So I'm like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> bro, hollow? Bro, John, I'm telling, niggas, niggas is under, they gonna underestimate John John. They always underestimate. No, I'm telling you, it's gonna be bad they do that, bro. This nigga. Oh my God, it was so amazing, bro. His first round, bro, I just wanted to just go, my nigga, like, what the fuck? Damn. Like, bro, it was like that. Damn. I'm telling y'all, remember I said this. His, that nigga, I heard that, man, listen. So, so needless to say, I guess, from hearing one of, you know, hearing his shit, then you automatically can cast judgment by hearing it, because you have But I know hollow, see, but see, to me, like, and I'm not hating, and I don't want to come up, like, I never looked at Hollow as to be, like, like, I don't see Hollow like everybody else see Hollow. I don't, like, I just don't see him like that. Like, and it's, it's no hate, but I'm just, like, I don't be impressed. Like, some of the shit he say, like, when he battled Lux, he did that whole, when he said the, um, the circus shit, he's like, you gotta jump through something to get through a fire round or some shit. He said, that shit was amazing. But he don't, he's not as consistent. Like, his shit don't come back to back. And a lot of people don't realize that. Like, I just don't be seeing at what people seeing him. Like, I feel like he's just a good guy. He was always the good guy. So they always just was on his side more. Like, but I don't see what other people see in Hollow. And a lot of battle rappers, and I'm not being biased or no hater, but if you ask, nine, if you ask the battle rappers, a lot of them gonna tell you the same thing. They're gonna be like, I don't see what y'all see in Hollow. It's the fans that's gassing him. Like, you know? Well, because us as fans, we see it different than y'all, especially somebody like you who's been doing this for a long time, you know, been around and heard all the bars, you know, and right. you are a writer. Right. So a writer is always going to have a different opinion of another writer or another battler than we would have as fans. That's that's always going to be the case. I mean, more power to him, man, you know. He, he, he doing what he got to do, you know what I'm saying? I never hate on a man that's feeding their family, you know. He got the... uh what's this shit lomclothing.com y'all make sure y'all go some support you know what i'm saying i always I, I always you know what i'm saying support niggas that's that's doing what they gotta do to feed their family you know what i'm saying so he taking care of his little man and his lady and that's real man shit you know what i'm saying we, we we went through our trials our tribulations and all that shit but I, i'm gonna still support a man that's trying to take care of their family at the end of the day because that's what it's about you know what i'm saying when we go the family gotta be good so he doing what he gotta do to take care of his family and that's all that really matter but I don't see him in the light as far as how other people put him on a pedestal for battle rap. I just never, I never really felt his bars as much as everybody else did. Like, so if you didn't hear John John's, let's say you didn't hear his rap. I can't. That shit was amazing. I heard it. But as a battler, like, okay, okay you heard that. But as it. a battler, how would you compare the two? Um... But then, I guess it just—I guess it's a fucking dumbass question. It's not—it's not, it's not it's dumb. It's still your boy. I mean, it, so. but it don't—it don't matter. Like, it's a lot of niggas that's my boy now. That I—that's just—that ain't that. Okay. See what I'm saying? But that nigga round, I don't know what his second and third like. But if they better than that, then it's a fucking problem, bro. Cause that shit was equivalent to like. Uh, I don't even want to say it, but it's it's just know it's a crazy like oh, the yeah. shit he was saying, bro. It's just so and and yeah, it's just crazy. It's John just crazy. John always say shit that go over people's head, it's especially crazy. in the building. It's crazy, and so. it's gonna be see the thing the the, the the advantage that niggas don't realize is we in London. The 
temperature. It's a different temperature, baby. They they love it. They understand it. They're there for that. They'll stand there eight hours and get drunk, and every battle go crazy. Still, they not gonna be them niggas that zombified after three battles. They don't. They don't play like that. I've headlined every event that I've done out there. Like I've been the, like either the last or the second to last battle, and always had the crowd. When I battled Shotty, it fucking seven, eight people battled before us. When I battled DNA, it was 10 battles that night. When I battled fucking JC, it was fucking eight battles that night. Like, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it's it's all about, it's that crowd. They different. It's, it's different. It's real love. And it's real. Like, you know, it's, it was overseas is where the real hip hop fans at. You riding down the street, you riding in a cab or Uber out there. They playing MOP. And nobody, Mob Deep. Nobody knows. Real hip hop. People say, well, what happened to such, 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 such? Y'all don't know. They overseas. Over there getting money. Still getting money. I was on a tour. I was in Sweden <laughs> in 2012. I was in Sweden with Paul Wall, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Still getting money. M Mr. Fab, um, the Jacka, rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? It was like. Real hip hop fans are over there. Like, it's real hip hop. My nigga, like. You you gonna have to really come like they appreciate it and that's why I give them my all when I go. I appreciate you, brother. We was out here for a little while, man. Nah, I, I appreciate you, you man. Give me all that. I nah, yeah, nah, you, we good, bro. I know I've been I be missing you like after battle events and shit. And I, I know you be wanting the interviews and shit, but sometimes it don't go that way because I be having niggas with me like that. Make sure I gotta get make sure I'm good. So Arch, we gotta. I, I always understand. You know, you'll come up to me like Arch, can I get the interview and I be gone because my niggas is like. We got to go, like, you know what I'm saying, so. But I still be the only one that sometimes get an interview. Yeah, nah, so nah, nah, you get, you, you know what I'm saying, we exclusive <laughs> with it, you know what I'm saying, we exclusive with it, man. My bad. Just sign me out, we go. You already know. 15 minutes of fame, baby, Uncle Ra, your boy Arsenal the Rebel, <laughs> King of Jersey. 15 minutes of fame.